family, it's Miss Crystal. Um, I have another art project for us to do today and I'm really excited about these because um, I just think they're really, really fun and they're new. Um, they're called Artist Trading Cards, which are just little cards that you can design and decorate in as many ways as you want to and you can make a collection for yourself or you can send them to your friends. So first we need to get our supplies and I'm gonna show you what art materials I'm using but you can use whatever materials you have at home. If you have markers or colored pencils, crayons, paint, glitter, stickers, anything that you have can work. You can use those um, on these cards. But I'm gonna be using watercolors and washi tape, which is just really fun decorative tape. But if you have regular colored tape or like I said, stickers, that works too. I also am using oil pastels, but you can use crayons, you can use markers, like I said, anything that you have at home. Um, and then I'm using a um, cardstock that's just cut up into smaller pieces. And what's cool about these um, is that because they're so small, you can make as many as you want. So if you're done with one, you just keep making more and more and more. Um, and that's what I really like about these is that they're, you can just keep making them. Um, I'm also going to be using a Sharpie, which is a permanent marker. It's a very special marker. Um, and you're probably need an adult to help you with these because if we're drawing on anything but paper, it won't come off, it will stay there. Um, so your adult will probably have to help you um, to make sure this doesn't get everywhere. Um, you can have a cookie sheet down and do your work on top of, you can have a tray, maybe you wanna put down um, some kind of tarp or something, that way we can contain the mess a little bit too. Um, so what I really like about Sharpies though is that they um, make a really cool effect when you use them with watercolor, and so that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm gonna do, I think, I'll do a happy face. So I'm gonna use my Sharpie, and then I'm wondering what do you think will happen when I paint over it with watercolor? Do you think it's gonna cover it up when I paint over it? All right, I'm gonna get my watercolors, and I think, let's see. I'm gonna use some orange, yeah. And just paint, paint, paint over the top. Yes, I like that. And happy faces I always think of like yellow too. Happy colors. So let's get some of those and paint over the top. <laughs> and then maybe some green too. So I'm gonna just cover the whole card in different colors. And like I said, whenever you're making your card, the really cool challenge is to try and see if you can make every card different. Um, so see if you see what happens if you use the same colors, but you do it in a different way. See what happens if you use different materials. Um, try out the different techniques that you can think of. So that's what I really like about these. All right, I think that's good. My card is all covered up. So remember, I used the Sharpie and the watercolors. Do you think it's gonna be covered? All right, here we go. You can see through it when you do that. Oh, it's running a little bit, but that's okay. So you can see through it when you use the Sharpie and the watercolor, and that's what I really like about those. So you have a bunch of your little squares cut out. Um, just keep creating and decorating in different ways. And here's some things that I did to show you just how many different ways you can um, decorate your trading cards. So this is just with tape. These ones I just used, the red, yellow, and blue. Another Sharpie one. A rainbow with zigzags, so the really endless, endless things that you can do with these. Um, and what I think is really fun, especially because we can't be at school with our friends right now, is to send some of these to your friends from your class. Maybe you guys can trade them, you guys can make them at home, send them to your friends, and wait at the mailbox to see what they send you. I think that would be really special. So I can't wait to see what kind of cards you guys come up with. Make sure you send some pictures um, so that we can see, and I hope you have a really great time. Bye, friends.